So a lot of you have been asking how to fly aerial surveys using the Telos and the Tello EDUs. Because unlike the Parrot Mambos, uh, the Tello EDU only has access to this front facing camera here, which makes it a little bit tricky to take photos for aerial mapping. Um, our workaround for this is actually to use a little 3D printed attachment um, you can get the template for this attachment from Thingiverse and we'll include a link below this video to that template. And once that is 3D printed, we just attach a little mirror to it and this clips on to the front of the Tello and makes it possible for us to take downward facing photos. This is what it looks like with the attachment on. Um, so the mirror is, is facing downwards. Uh, this one you can see uh, it's not quite perfect, it cuts off a little bit of the camera at the top there. Um, but you can get around this by, by making the mirror piece a little bit bigger, so make it a bit longer, or just sliding it up on the um, 3D printed attachment so that it sits closer to the drone itself um, and covers more of, of that camera. So the updated version of the Tello EDU app now allows us to access the camera on the Tello using block coding. Um, so you can see here all of the camera commands are in the motion section. You've got take photo, record and stop. Now you can see that there's a little red X next to those camera um, options, but those, those will disappear once you're actually connected to the drone and you start streaming the camera using this button over here. Um, and I'll show you that once we get going. Okay, so I have just written this simple code to fly in a box formation um, and I've got the Tello sitting out here on our mat. Uh, it's connected, as you can see up in the corner. However, you can see there's still got these red crosses on the take photo buttons. So what you need to do before you launch your mission is actually turn the camera stream on. Okay, so once you've hit the camera button on this right hand side here, the camera will go green uh, and you can see in the background of the app, it's actually showing us what the camera is streaming. Uh, so we've got our attachment on our Tello, so it's um, looking downwards at our, at our landing mat right now. And so we're going to, oh, and you can also see that the little X's have disappeared from the take photo blocks, which means that it can take photos during the code. So we'll give it a go and see what happens. And if you look at the app, you can actually see what the Tello is seeing. And once it's landed and you're ready to have a look at your photos, you can click on this button down here and all of the photos that it took during that coded flight will pop up. Uh, and you can see that it's not super perfect with the attachment as it has these little red lines at the top of each photo, which is caused by that 3D printed attachment. Um, however, as I mentioned with a bit of adjustment, I'm sure you could get rid of that and the photos are mostly fine uh, for our purposes, which is to fly an aerial survey for mapping. Um, just a little note that because the Tello EDU app does stream the camera while the code is running, it means that you will probably get Wi-Fi interference if you're trying to fly multiple Tellos at once, uh, just because it does take a lot of bandwidth to be able to, to stream uh, video like that. So, and those are similar to the issues that you get if you try to use the black Tello app with multiple drones at once.